can see it. It's returned. <laughs> After all these long years. <laughs> these are truly weird times we live in. <sighs> Last I know what I must do. Hey, uh, 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 freaking doors. Uh, uh, oh, oh, who put the fuck? Uh, all right. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, First and foremost, I require a haircut. Fizzle whistle. Ha! Ah, okay, there we go. <clears throat> yes, I don't know if you guys knew, but I am in fact a wizard. The one thing that was beyond my power, though, was bringing the bleach anime back. Okay. <laughs> I've been practicing this for eight years! It's your time to shine, Matt. All right, here we go freaking beard in my mouth, okay. Presenting the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc Anime Announcement! Rocky victory theme music. Da da. It's a weird, weird time we live in, right? By the way, in case you are at all dubious of the miraculous nature of this announcement, while I was running around the house this morning, grabbing my fake wigs and all my swords, I had to grab everything. I couldn't even find Rukia's pop figurine. I don't know where it is. That's really disturbing and distressing to me. But while I was running around the house, I was in my studio, digging through a freaking random drawer, and, and I found, uh, you know, an almost completely filled thing of hand sanitizer, which, especially in these times, that is a mir miracle right there. So, whew, okay. So, um, this was, um, something that was going to be announced anyway on Friday, but as is the nature with most things, the information nowadays gets out before. To summarize, and, and we're still going to be doing the stream announcement, I'll be doing a live stream to kind of like do a live reaction to that. That'll be on Friday. But... As it says here in the uh, the clipping of the article, uh, there's two big pieces of information that we knew were going to be revealed. The first piece of information is Taito Kubo Sensei's new work, and that's going to be um, an anime adaptation of Burn the Witch, which means there's going to be a manga adaptation of Burn the Witch as well. Previously, it was stated that Burn the Witch was going to get an OVA, uh, maybe like the original pilot chapter that was you know sh uh, you know revealed a couple of years ago was going to get an OVA, but it seems like there's going to be an actual series beyond this, you know, like. And even Kubo said there's a short series involved here. Now, it might not be a particularly, you know, like, bleach-sized manga, or, you know, like 600 chapters or anything like that. It might only be a couple of volumes for all we know. But, uh, yeah, Burn the Witch is going to get a manga and then an anime adaptation eventually. But, of course, the big news that everybody wants to know about is uh, the bleach anime. It, what's going to go on with that? I've saw two, you know, very popular trains of thought here. Either we're going to get a complete reboot or we're just going to continue where the um, anime left off within to the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Either of those I would have been fine with, uh, but it turns out that, yes, we're going to get a Thousand Year Blood War arc anime continuation. This is real. This is not fake. Like, uh, the millions of fake articles I'm sure every Bleach fan has had to suffer through for, like, the last, like, eight years. You know, I remember, like, 2014, that's going to be the year of Bleach. I'm going to click on that article. Oh, it's fake. 2016, year of Bleach. I'm going to click on that article. You know, um... Every time anybody even slightly involved with Bleach, you know, somebody that was a voice actor or, you know, the, the, the uh, director or anybody that even, like, voiced their opinions of, like, yeah, I'd like to see the anime come back someday. That was, like, an article. It was like, it's coming back! Confirmed! I'm like, no, we don't know if it's confirmed. I still have beard in my mouth. 
Okay, so 2021. Now, this takes time, of course, 2021. And I'm assuming there's going to be more information in the actual stream that's going to be uh, this Friday on, like, maybe they're going to talk about some of the voice actors that are going to be coming back. Maybe the soundtrack. That's a big thing. You need to have the soundtrack if you're going to have your Bleach, okay? You can revamp the soundtrack. You could give me, like, a new Redux remixed version of number one. That would be fantastic. Um, and, of course, we're introducing the Stern Ritter. We're having a whole different legion of enemies. And so, you know, like the Espada and the Aroncar, we had that really elegant, really sleek, you know, Spanish, like, uh, you know, guitars in the background whenever the Espada showed up. Yeah, that. So we got to come up with a whole new soundtrack. We got to build that up with the um, with the Stern Ritter, with the Quincy. Something something powerful and like droning and metallic, you know, maybe for the Stern Ritter. You know, some, something like that. I don't know. Or, or you could just take old war marching songs or something. It would honestly work rather well when you're talking about the Quincy's and get, considering their aesthetic, you know. So soundtrack is a big concern. Obviously voice actors, although I believe Ichigo and Ruki as VAs were going to be present at that announcement coming up. Up, so that's pretty much confirms they're going to come back as well. Um, you know, uh, there's a few that were, there's deaths on the cast. Uh, Yama, Yamamoto's VA passed away a few years ago. So uh, Yamamoto, of course, has a really big moment in this arc where he goes Bonkai and he fights Yuha or Royd, but Yuha. And so we're going to have to get a new VA for Yamamoto, of course. Um, so th it, it's been a while. I mean, it's been eight years. I mean, you understand, like, for years and years, like, I wasn't, like, so optimistic, like, every day I would wake up and, like, is it gonna come back yet? Is it gonna come back yet? That would just drive me insane if that was, you know, my mentality here. But every, every now and then, every once in a while, every couple of months... I'd be sitting around my house, or I'd be reading some old Bleach chapters. I just reread the fight between Kempachi and Mayori and Pernita a couple of uh, days ago. I would be, uh, you know, just sitting around and thinking, like, oh man, I wonder if the anime is going to come back someday. You know, and I've been having these thoughts for you know, eight years, ever since 2012 in March. It's been almost exactly like eight years to the date when it was announced that it was, you know, it, well, when the last episode of the Bleach anime aired uh, in Japan. It's been almost eight years, March 2012. So, um,. You know, every now and then I'd be sitting around thinking that, and you understand, like, the surrealness of this? Like, because, you know, the announcement for the announcement came two months ago, and I'm thinking, well, this is the most official thing we've gotten, and we had the countdown website and the stream, and I'm like, oh man, I can't wait for this, it's gonna be great! And, um... You know, I, I figured it's probably going to be an anime continuation, but you just never know because we've been we've been like pulled out before. It's like something's going to happen. Oh, it's nothing big. It's just a you know. I mean, the live action movie, like I said, was good, but it wasn't what I think a lot of people wanted, right? So I'm like, it, it might be something related to the live action movie. It might be something completely. It might be a Bleach related play. I, I don't know. So I just, I didn't want to get my hopes up too much, but I'm like, this is the most official thing we got. So finally, when I woke up this morning and my inbox, of course, was flooded with like, it's back. And I'm like, yes, I had to get up immediately out of bed with purpose. I haven't even eaten my breakfast yet with purpose. And like, yeah, I know what I must do. And I immediately like, all right, you know, put Ichigo up, made my bed, put everything together. And, and as I was running around grabbing everything, you know, grabbing the figurines, I'm like, okay, I'm going to know Zarashi, grab, you know, Ichigo Zangetsu. I, I had to stop and think like, holy crap, this is actually happening. <laughs> I've been waiting to make this video for eight years. And here we are. Now, we don't know more information than that. Um, so it's just a magazine article. It's all we got. But, you know, I hope you'll join me this Friday. Uh, it's going to start at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, you know, in my time zone. So I'll, you know, I'll put the link to the uh, Shonen Jump page right down below where you can check that out. And you can look at what time is it going to start in your time zone. And I'm not going to be streaming the stream, obviously, but I'll be live when the stream is live. And we'll see what they say. And, you know, I'm going to take my, like, first reactions for stuff like that. 2021. So, um, I guess that could be anything from, you know, January 2021 to, like, November 2021. So, closer to two years. I feel like they know more than anybody how much people want this and how long we've waited and anticipation and everything. So, I think the smart thing for them to do is, like, okay, if they're going to reveal in March of 2020 right now that the Bleach anime is returning for the final season, if they're going to be doing that right now, then I think the smart thing to do would have it start in March of 2021. So, like, in a year. Just wait, like, give us a year to get this done, and then you'll be watching Bleach goodness. I'll be like, oh, yeah. Um, 
I don't even know what like studio is going to animate it or anything like that. It's just you know that's literally all we got is like Thousand Year Blood War arc anime announcement. It's happening in 2021. That's that's all we know at the moment. So I, I guess I don't even know why I'm here at this point. I gave you the information, but it's happening, guys. This is a cause for celebration. Man, I need to dust off the old rad teching sunglasses and um, I need to rebuild my whole bleach set and everything. Ah, oh, man, that was good times. Um, I don't even know how to like like discuss like what situation it's going to be in in like a year when the anime actually starts. Uh, you know, like like how am I going to like talk about it in what format? I don't. That's a year from now. I don't. Know. I live more in like the moment and like the incoming weeks, and I'm horrible with scheduling. Okay, uh, but I'll be talking about it, of course. Um, I, I probably in the meantime I could do. I'm already doing the Espada series. It's kind of like I like. I don't know, last year when I did the Zompok Toes and I was talking about that, I was like, I just wanted to talk about Bleach again. I had no idea, like, the anime's actually going to come back. I just really wanted to talk about Bleach. So I did the Zompok Toes series. But then recently, when we had everything going on with um, the announcement for the announcement, I was like, I should talk about the Espada again, because I'm feeling like this might come back. You know, and so we're talking about the Espada series right now, and I'll be continuing that. I'm just going to keep that rolling as much as I can. After I'm done with the Espada, maybe I'll talk about, like, the Fullbringers. And after I'm done with the Fullbringers, maybe I'll do, I don't know, I'll, I'll talk about something else Bleach-related. We'll do some Bleach-related live streams peppered throughout the year to get us built up to uh, the announcement for when the anime, anime is going to come back. Even, like, even for the stream, I don't know if they're going to give, like, an exact date. Because if it's 2021, it's at least a year out almost. I don't think they're going to... They might say something generic like early 2021 or you know mid-summer 2021, something like that. But uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up for like an exact date right now. They're probably just going to say Thousand Year Blood War 2021. Uh, they might announce the studio that's going to animate it. They might, you know, oh, here's the voice cast that's going to be returning. Maybe... I, I, I think we're maybe even a little bit too early for promotional images. There might be something though. Maybe... I mean, like if anything, maybe Kubo drew some like promotional art for the new series. Series. Then again, Kubo is probably going to be focusing more on Burn the Witch right now. I mean, the Thousand Year Blood War, that's an anime thing. Kubo is probably going to be like a consultant on stuff and talk about things. Um, but beyond that, he's probably going to be focusing on his new uh, manga, Burn the Witch. So we'll, we'll focus more on that. Um, so many questions right now. Like, what, what about the ending? What about the ending of this? You know, because this ending, I mean, I'm not going to say it's the worst ending to a manga I've ever read, but... It's not a great ending. I mean, like, I, I think we can all at least admit, like, Kubo could have added, like, if he was allowed to, like, a couple of more chapters for build-up to structure this properly. So, this is the second chance. And if Kubo is going to be working with the, like, like, as a consultant and stuff, I think one of the first things, like, they sat down at a board meeting somewhere in Japan, and they're like, Kubo's like, okay, listen, you know, thank you for the, you know, the arc, you know, the final anime and all that stuff, but one thing we got to get straight right now... <laughs> It is my desire that we change the ending of this a little bit. Now, when I say change the ending, I don't mean like, you know, change everything. Like, Ruki is still going to be the captain and all that stuff. But maybe just throw in a couple of more things to better structure that final battle. Because that final battle with Aizen and Renji and Ichigo and Yuha, that should have been like a big bombastic moment. And um, it just really wasn't. It ended really abruptly. And just like, Ichigo, we got a magic arrowhead. Okay, Shing, dead. I'm like, that could have been handled a little bit better. That could have been foreshadowed a lot better. Um, I've made videos about that already, so... Yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <sighs> Wait until Friday. We'll get the announcement. We'll do the live reaction to that, and we'll see what else we have to come of it. But until then, yes, the anime is confirmed. Teching 101 signing out.